Hello, everyone. Welcome to some more Cthulhu Nzoth Priest, the greediest deck out there right now. Uh, I, I don't know why I'm playing this deck anymore. I mean, it's it's one of those things where I, I, I want it to work. I, I like it so much, but it just hasn't been doing well. And Shadow Form, again, another matchup where Shadow Form was a poor choice. And if I get Mana Wormed here, do I lose? Eh, I don't want to say I lose, but I don't have a play until turn four, so yeah, I kind of lose. Um, <laughs> hey, Freeze Mage, also bad news for me. Um, do I coin out a three? Not that three. That's for sure. Okay, see, if, if I'd already been playing a couple minions, this hand wouldn't look awful, but right now it does. I'm going to coin this out just because... Just because... Maybe it is actually Freeze Mage. That would be crazy. It could be some sort of control. Reno Mage. Definitely not expecting Temple having missed so many of the early drops. All six of them. Wow. Going for it. Miss. There we go. Really not wanting to deal with it. Wow. Okay. I can respect that. Yeah, drawing yourself. Why not? Why not? Yeah, opponent's gonna get a bunch of cards off of that, but oh well. I can live with that, I think. My Cassoon's getting buffed, that's for sure. That was, what, two cards to have to go through? Alright. Cassoon's chill. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is, uh, this is becoming a lot now. That's a good way to put a stop to it. Still gets a draw off of it. I might be absolutely toast if this is Freeze Mage, though. That's for sure. Yeah, ultra draw dependent deck in my Cthulhu here. Going up against a very uh, consistent deck in Freeze Mage. So I could be in real trouble, but we'll see. Throw out a couple Cthulhu minions here. Hopefully opponent has to deal with them in some shape, way, or form. And then able to follow up with a big old Twin Emps. Fortunately not going to have time to hang on for a brand combo. Obviously super strong, but again super rare. Uh, Antonius is going to eat an Entomb. Wow. Frostbolt. I'm looking at you, Frostbolt. Roaring Torch. Yeah, why not? Brutal. Okay, so yeah, I can't afford that staying up now that he can go Antonius here. Uh, uh, I'm gonna hang on to the... I'm gonna hang on to my healing hero power for now. Maybe I'll regret that in a turn or two, but... Uh, yeah, that's a thing. That's a ping me down. So this is also unfortunate. Yeah, this is unfortunate because I think I feel like I, I feel like I have to make this trade. Although, uh, <laughs> I just feel like if I'd played the Twin Emps into a uh, here, I would have definitely run the run the risk of. Ooh, I will definitely take. Oh boy. Uh, excavated evil. I would play right now. And heal the opponent, because we're nice guys. So yeah, there's def I'm definitely going to get fireballed down here, I'm expecting. So this is more of a tempo mage that kind of just missed their early game. It's kind of interesting. Oh boy. This could... Things could get out of control if we don't get a cabal. Very, very soon. Ooh, that was pretty lucky. Yeah, now we need our excavated evil. Like crazy. Only takes one of them out. That's really, really not good enough. Let's see what we get. Also, not good enough. Let's see what we get. Let's see how this goes. It's gonna eat a bit of a dam bit of damage, or uh, I mean, there's enough damage on board, obviously, but I feel like doing this either stops him or forces some burn spells. Wow. Why not, actually? Can draw into a fireball. Roaring <sighs> Torch. Come on, give me that flame strike in your deck. I need it. It's not good enough. 
Shadow or Death works now, though. So that's something. So, I got that going for me. Ooh, what is better? Let me change your mind. That's a pretty sweet combo, right? <laughs> that's pretty funny, actually. That was a pretty good combo. Yeah, you know, and the combo works just right. Wow. Now we're going spell for spell here, huh? Why not? Oh, brutal. Brutal. Excavated evil. Not as happy with it now. Let's go... I have another flame waker. Oh, shoot, how much damage can I do here? I'm worried. Um. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I attack here. I shadow form. I deal a little bit of random damage. If they both go here, I ping them down. If not, I ping that down. Is that my best? I know it's the most fun line of playing. I have healing. So wait, that's three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're going to do this first and see what we get regardless. Um, I'll take the taunt because that's going to probably be sweet later on. Uh, so we want to run that in there. And now we're going to do a bunch of damages, hoping that it goes over here. Oh, that's okay, and we'll take that one out. Okay, so we've committed to this shadow form now. I mean, I'm expecting a Yogg to come down, and this hangs this hangs out for Antonius, obviously. Roaring Torch me. Face, face, face. Yes. Good Roaring Torch. Unfortunate. That's for sure. Can't attack into it now. He knows he can't. Ooh, terrifying. Terrifying. Um, so that goes there. So which one do I need to get rid of more? I think I get rid of this one more in the long run, right? And we're still drawing. Uh, Deathwing is a game changer. Uh, how many dragons do I have? I do actually have dragons. I think I'm going to take Shifting Shade so that I can play it on the next turn with Entomb. And I think the only- yeah, okay, so maybe this is a horrible idea. Maybe I need to get way more committed to, uh, I need to get way more committed to some sort of consistency here because I feel like the only way Shadow Form really works is if I do have a little bit more healing, maybe I need a- what was that, face? Oh, okay, I was going to say, that's super gutsy. Oh, so lucky. Always lucky. Um, this happens every time, right? Or should I have taken that one out? Yeah, maybe that was a horrible idea. Let's uh, get that damage in there. Here we go. Well, we're coming down to our, uh, we're coming down to a Yog, a Yog and a prayer. Um, and an Antonius as well, though, to be honest. Polymorph is pretty bad, actually. Polymorph is very bad news. Now Flame Strike. I needed that Flame Strike earlier from you, friend. Um, how committed do I want to be to this board? Uh, let's find out what's in. Let's find out what's in that deck of yours. In the event that there's some big Flame Strike, I don't mind. I don't mind stealing. I mean, a Yogg would, might honestly be the worst thing for me to get. Well, here we go. Secret time. Oh no, that's a bad one. Buffing me is the best. There we go. Healing damage to yourself is excellent. Healing me is the best. Well, unless it heals me, I'm upset. No, healing yourself. Yes, healing the guy who doesn't need it. Cone of cold is death. No. Oh, that's brutal. Jeez. Yes, kill this one. Okay, that's pretty bad. Okay, take out your own. Ugh, too bad. That's really good for him right now. Take out your own. Yes. Wait, why did this get unfrozen? Um, potentially lose the game. 
All right, there we go. We're in business. I think that's basically how I win, right? Have to take the aggressive, take the aggressive line. He might steal a Cthune, which would be really bad for me. Let's make magic. Oh boy, oh boy. What's he doing now? Is he just gonna go face the rest of the way? Wow, that's so much. Oh, is he taking me out right now? Wow. Didn't think for a second that would have been an issue. Didn't he already play a Roaring? Oh, because he drew... Wow, that's awesome. Off the Thistle Tea off of Yogg. Well, there we go. Yogg, we're going to mark this down. The first time Yogg betrays me. Betrayed by Yogg. You already saw it in the title, though. I'll see you next time. That was kind of funny. That's unfortunate. I was really close there. Okay, I'll see you.